morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning to you, Juju. The rest of that storm that was a problem on Sunday is in Maine and moving out. And so in its wake, temperatures are going to be slightly below. And eventually, that is also going to get all the way, the cooler air, to Florida that have been just baking hot for so many months. So look at tomorrow morning. Not talking records. What we will see is with those warmer lakes, you're going to see more lake effect snow, as we already did in parts of Muskegon, Michigan. So this is right along the lake and the highways there with the one lane cleared. You had a couple inches, but now you're going to add even more to that, looking for an additional, you know, three to six tops in parts of the west side of Michigan. But then again, in the not only half foot, but foot plus category. Guys. Oh man, okay, Ginger, thanks. We're gonna go to Capitol Hill now. Big ski and every type of snow event weekend. Thanksgiving weekends when so many of those ski resorts opened as they did even in parts of cities that stay all the way from Eureka down the spine of the Sierra Nevada. Look at Burbank even. What we're doing there is, you know, this is this morning through the next couple of days. It's gonna stay relatively cool and below average, not just from there in Arizona, but through Texas, which we'll get to in a bit. Your local weather in 30 seconds. So it's Frozen's 10th anniversary. These kids arrived very early to celebrate your local news and weather next. Happy kids. Coolest history, at least without one inch or greater in New York City on a given day in 650 days. It's our longest stretch by far and there's nothing in the immediate future. Meanwhile, Wichita, Kansas had 7.8 inches of snow, making it their snowiest November since 1951. So some big differences there. That snow will sit and be chill at least today, but then a considerable warm up is headed for most of us east of the Rockies. Let's get a check a little closer to home. Good Monday morning. Y'all have a great day and a great week. How's that for an earworm? <laughs>